What is going on guys? Dayton here, AK Dr. R Flower, and we are back with you with a amazing review for one of the funnest sonar toys I've ever had in my life. Easily the funnest. So this is the Meepo Hurricane Ultra Bamboo Deck. So this is one of the coolest things I've ever rode in my life. Um, this thing is an absolute blast. It is one powerful beast too. And uh, yeah, it, 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 it's just amazing. <laughs> so yeah, big shout out to Meepo uh, Skateboards for hooking me up with this to do a review. Um, this is probably the coolest review I've ever done in my life. I would say for what you pay for this board, it will bring you so much happiness and <laughs> like how I always explain it to people is it costs a couple hundred dollars to go snowboarding. And after a few times snowboarding, I could have just bought one of these and then go riding 10 times more on this thing. So that is what I love about electric skateboarding compared to snowboarding. I come from a snowboarding background. This thing is absolutely amazing to ride and I get so much riding out of it. So yeah, let's talk about this thing. It is an all-terrain board. It's got dual belt motors and this thing is freaking powerful. It's got a top speed of 51 kilometers an hour, uh, 32 miles an hour, which is absolutely insane. Those are speeds I'll never get to and I never even want to try to get to. I'm more just riding this to enjoy the ride, to enjoy the carving and uh, the surfy feeling to it. I absolutely love this thing. I do have other electric skateboards and I gotta say with the Kingpin trucks here, this thing is absolutely amazing to ride because it's so carvy and it just feels more surfy and just like, just really goes with you, moves with you. If you're a snowboarder or a skateboarder who enjoys carving it up a bit, this thing is absolutely uh, amazing to ride. So with the dual motors uh, and the all-terrain, this thing has so much power and you can go a lot of places. So if you want to hop off in the grass, you can definitely do that. You can go cruising around a little bit, hop back onto the pavement. Gives you a lot more versatility on this thing. Um, and the battery life. I cannot ride this thing down to empty on one ride. It's almost impossible for me. I'll get sore before the board powers out. So pretty much if I want to go on two full rides, I don't even have to charge this thing. This thing has so much battery range. The range is also insane on this. Um, with these kind of wheels, you'll get around, let's say 28, 30 kilometers. On the street wheels on these, you can get up to 50 kilometers range on this, which is insane. That is two full days of riding for me. So the Meepo Hurricane Ultra is a decently sized big board. So for a guy my size, I'm six foot, it, it fits really well. I have a wider stance. So riding smaller skateboards is not really preferable for me. Um, I really enjoy longer boards so I can have a more wider stance, gives me more balance. Another nice thing about this board is it comes with uh, kingpin trucks, just a single kingpin. Uh, so if it kind of depends on what kind of stability you want. Do you want a board that's more surfy and carvy, but not that great for high speeds? I wouldn't really want to take uh, this setup for high speeds. Or if you want a more sturdy, not as carvy, something more better for speeds, then you would put the kingpin single trucks on there and you can use those. And if you're interested in checking this board out at any time, I'll be putting a link down below in the description and it can take you to this board and you can check it out. You can actually customize this board completely up the tires, the motors, the battery, I think, um, the deck. You can really customize this to exactly what you want and exactly your riding style. I'm an affiliate with Meepo, so if you're interested in getting one of these, it'll help the channel out if you use my link and uh, you can get your hands on one of these awesome boards yourselves. So how does it handle up hills? Up hills, this thing absolutely rips. This, like I, like I literally only ride it in uh, the second speed. So there's four speeds on the remote. Uh, speed one's for beginners. Speed two on this thing has two settings. So you get 12 miles per hour on your first, uh, when you first give it some go. And then when you ease back and give it some more, it'll go up to 15, 16 miles an hour. So that's kind of more my speed. So it's perfect for me. And I just cruise along at that. Uh, but it also goes up to speed three and four, which is much faster. Uh, four has got a lot of power. So you really got to brace yourself. That's for more for racers and stuff like that. And like people who are like pushing this thing to the limit. 
I don't really do that. You can go ahead and do it if you have the safety gear, but for me, speed two is more than enough. So you also can adjust the brakes. It has really good brakes, brings you to a stop when you need to. You can stop on a hill and actually keeps you stopped, so that's nice. And if you wanted to, you wanted more aggressive braking, you can turn it up. I like to keep it at the second level braking. It does more than enough braking for me, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, overall, I absolutely love this board. Um, it is my new favorite board. I have the Backfire Zealot S. That is also an amazing board, but this one beats it out because it just, it's so much better feeling, uh, so much more comfortable. These air tires are absolutely, oh, they're just next level. So if you have bad knees or something, air tires, uh, pneumatic tires are perfect for you. Um, it really helps uh, my soreness when I'm riding. Something that happens when you get older, um, but if you enjoy this, it's kind of like a sport more for people 30s and 40s and 50s, not so much the younger generation. So this is for people who still want to ride, um, but don't really like the whole pushing and you know going a little slow and stuff. This, this is like so much freedom and enjoyment riding this thing. It is an absolute blast. And you will definitely be turning a lot of heads. Um, that happens pretty much every time I ride this thing. Uh, you get a lot of attention, uh, if you want that or not. I'm probably gonna set up some LED lights on this thing so it really stands out and looks awesome. Um, that's to come and I'll show you guys that later. So this is my 175 mile review on this thing. That's how many miles I got on this. And I absolutely love this. So if you're a board sport lover like myself, um, I highly recommend getting one of these. I think electric skateboard is one of the most uh, relaxing, enjoyable, peaceful, like really just puts your mind at peace kind of hobby. And the bang for your buck of enjoyment you get with an electric skateboard like this is absolutely unreal. So <laughs> the amount of fun you can have on one of these is, is hard to explain because you can just ride this so easy every day. You just walk outside your house and away you go. So, and it's like, for me, it's just like walking outside my house and having the same feeling of snowboarding every day, except I'm not paying $200 to go ride and snowboard. So, absolutely love this thing. The Meepo Hurricane Ultra, definitely a recommendation. Um, I, I believe now it's the X, Ultra Hurricane X and you can customize everything you want on it. The board, the motors, you can get different motors, different wheels, everything. So very customizable board. Uh, Meepo definitely hit it out of the park with this thing. This board is comparable to other boards that are like a thousand dollars more. So the bang for your buck with this board is pretty unreal. Again, if you wanna check out this board yourself, I'll be putting the link down below in the description. But yeah, like I said, for me, there ain't nothing funner than to blaze one and hop on this bad boy and go for a rip. So it's a beautiful day today. I think I'm gonna go take it for another ride. Um, thank you all for watching this episode. Big thank you to Meepo for hooking me up with this bad boy. We're gonna be taking on some adventures, taking you guys with us, and we're gonna be customizing it a bit, I think. So stay tuned for that, guys. And until next time, peace out. We'll catch you guys later.